Oh, a very quick video here. I've just chipped the top off this from 2015. I got it at like somewhere from a raffle thing from earning scores. It's Jurassic World 2015, but it's on the year. Sport watch and alarm clock. You can see there's a little analog alarm clock there and a watch which did used to work when I got it. I was tempted to leave this sealed indefinitely, but I see it's never going to. Unless I leave it for a long time, it's not going to get me big bucks because it's a cheap product. Could be, could be a stupid idea. Let's first have a look at the watch. It says PMS on the back. I'm vaguely aware of the manufacturing stuff. So. Yeah, the watch isn't too bad for a little toy, I suppose. See if there's any... I don't see any sign of the digits. Probably get the back off, but I may as well get the right battery, which it says on the back before doing it. Let's have a peek. No, I don't, I'd have to get the thing just to do it. But yeah, it's quite lightweight. It's a little better than you think, actually. Just in some respects, it's. Like, it just seems slightly snazzier than I expected from having it in the pop packet. Yeah, the digits, it's because the watch has basically been running since 2014, 15, whenever, and it's 2021 now. I think up until a few years ago that was working. So it isn't a duff watch. Let's get to the clock. So this is again relatively standard issue on a lot of clock. Again, let's have a look at them together in a minute. As I'll put I might put a battery in the clock. Because I've been I've done that with a couple. I'll try and I'll keep the packet, get the right watch battery for it, and bang, that might be in a video. Because this is only going to be a short one. Budra, quartz, blah, blah, blah. Standard issue analog alarm clock. I may just stand. Um, let's pop a battery in this just for you to see. Work. 